Welcome to Virtual Wellbeing Flow Yoga. So you're doing that today with me, Terry Lynn Emily, and this session is for you if you've already checked out the first video, the how-to video with a little bit more explanation, or if you've done yoga with me before, because this session is going to flow, we're going to do it together, so there's not quite so much instructing and it all flows together. There'll be some yoga nidra at the end, so deep relaxation. And the first thing we're going to do is just make a quick connection with our breath and our core and be really self-aware. Okay, enjoy. Join me on your mat, please. Feet together in Tadasana. Be strong in your posture. As you focus on breath, relax your face and soften down as you exhale. Throughout the practice, be really super self-aware. Exhale. In-breath, prepare. Rise it up with the arms. Press the palms together, activate the chest muscles and activate, activate Mula Bandha, that's your pelvic lift. And let's do two more. In breath. Exhale. So you're connecting with your pelvic floor. Pull your belly button back, so you're activating your transverse abdominis. Last one, in breath. down your mat and turn at the end and walk back. Anytime you want to leave out the rotation or leave out the arm movements, completely up to you and prepare for hold. toes, so you're lifting up your foot, check your hip isn't lifted here, you can be in rotation, or you can be forward facing, prepare to change. Front of the mat because we're going to work 
through some Surya Namaskar, which will progress. So begin in mountain, ground down through your heels, lift up through your thighs, roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, rolling down gently through the spine, curl the spine, soften the knees if or when you need to. Fingertips in line with the toe. Release the chin. Exhale back and ease it down into your lungs. Spread the fingers as you release and come into plank. Press back. You may lower your knees if you need to because we are now going to lower, lower, lower. So just align the body press into the tops of the feet as you gently lift up to press into the palms of your hands. Keep the elbows bent. Not too high first time. Bhujangasana. Cobra. Deep breath in here as you press the toes under. You need to lift from the core as you take yourself back and gently up into a low dog. We're going to press down into the right heel and bend the left knee. And then we're going to switch. Just a couple of times. You're working your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Release your shoulders. Okay, three-legged dog now. And we're going to bring it back through into our lunge. Lengthen through that back leg, lift the chest. Bring it back. Exhale. Rolling up. So lift up through the legs and the pelvic floor. Take the hips forward before you take the shoulders back. Bring yourself back into the dust now. Okay, left side, in breath up. Exhale, roll it down. Exactly the same on this side. Lift up, left leg lunges back this time. Straight legs first before you ease it down. Good, spread those fingers as you come into plank. Lower the knees if you need to. On the exhalation, the knees will release, lowering down the torso. In a unit, strong unit. In breath. Lift up into your cobra. Cobra, press the hips down. Exhale, lowering. This time we're going to tuck the toes under and bring ourselves back with that breath. Again, you can walk through this a couple of times if you need to. Start to shake, take the chest through. This time, it's the right leg, bringing it through, lift the chest, unroll, up we go again, right side, press the hips forward slightly for a little bit of a back bend in Urdhva Hastasana, still rolling it down, still slightly warming up, lift up, Lunge it back, exhale down, a little bit deeper, you can lower the knee here if you want to, bringing it back into plank, starting to progress this, come up on the toes and lowering yourself through Chaturanga Dandasana, little pause, all the way down here, the in breath is going to lift us up. Start to come higher, but the elbows always stay bent. Do not compress the neck at the back. So, exhale is down and up into down facing dog. That one breath takes us through both. Bring it into. Come through into lunge. Okay, keep. The left hand down, right foot in line as we rotate. Don't let the knee run out to the side. Straight lines. Swoop the arm back and down. Foot comes through. 
fold in breath all the way up only do the back bend here if it feels right for you but use the hips not the neck exhaling rolling it down left leg this time big step ease it down press back into the heels into plank, decide whether you're going to lower your knees or whether you're going to chaturanga. In breath, brings you up, press down into the tops of the feet, press down into the hips. Shoulders back. Exhale all the way here. Up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breaths. So it's the left leg now, three-legged dog, keep the hips aligned. Lunge it through, ease it down. Woo, let's rotate. Slide the hand up that leg. Look up if you can. Press into the right hand, press out into that heel. Swoop the hand down. We're progressing here. Rolling it up. Nice deep breathing, I'd better start with or without back bend. Option here to lead with the heart as you dive down. Tuck the chin, look through the legs. Lift it up, take it back, ease it down. Good. We can lift up now. And place the hands back down as we come back into our plank. Options to lower the knees, remember, or Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering down, breathing in. We'll come a little higher each time, but you be the gauge. Don't scrunch the bum cheeks, you're pressing down with the hips, so there is activation through the um, glutes, but you're not physically scrunching. Exhale, 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 tuck the chin, exhale all the way back. Good, well done. Let's go for the three-legged dog here. But we're now going to draw the knee under and over. Bring it back to centre and out to the side. Control, lift the core, take it back. Now we can lunge through, yes. Rotate. Feel the heat building. Ah, fantastic. Take a rest anytime you need it or slow it down. Think of the adaptions. Take it back if you need it. We can dive up here as well. What is your back asking you to do? Take it forwards. Diving down on the left side now. Lift the left heel, ease it back into that lunge. Option here to lower the knee all the way down before you lift up. And then it may be that you can lift up here by straightening that leg. It's just a different way to enter this pose. Sweep the arms back into plank. You're doing great. Keep it going. Shoulder blades down the back. Chaturanga. In breath, open up your heart space with your cobra. Press down with your feet and your hips. Exhale, lowering down, tucking under. So lift back with the core, taking it up, down, facing dog. Left leg now, three legs. Exhale, lift the pelvic floor and the core. Keep breathing, but maintain the lift. Back to centre and out to the side. Well done. And take it back up. Let's bring it through now here into pigeon. Left knee comes to left wrist. So just gently ease it down. Do not put your weight over your knee. That's where your knee needs to be to one side. Respect your joints. And you're walking back using your extended leg so that this hip rolls out. So ease it. 
gently. Keep both hip bones facing forwards. Feel the stretch go down the outside thigh into the hip. Stretching those deep muscles, glutes, piriformis. Ease it, release. Lower your body weight down as you progress. Slow the breath down. Sink down into the mat. Just ease it down. As we bring ourselves up. Option here to stretch out through the quadriceps on the front of the thigh by bringing the knee in. Take your hand around into King Pigeon. Get the knee lengthened back. Either face forwards here. Or you can keep looking around. Take yourself onto your side here. We bring ourselves into the side plank. Bringing it back. Down onto the mat. Tuck the toes under. Back up. Down facing dog. Right leg comes up, three legged dog. This right knee now is going to come to the right wrist. Let the foot tuck itself under the body. Where your foot goes will depend on your flexibility. This is what you're building. This is your journey. So be where you are now. You are practicing yoga. Don't worry so much about how you look. It's about being placed in a comfortable position and what you're feeling. Right now your heart rate should be lowering again. You should be feeling a deep stretch down here. So there's mild tension going on down the thigh here into the glutes. But feel it release. Feel it release. Stretch your arms out. Soften down. Three to five breaths. Walk the hands back. Think about whether or not you want to go into King Pigeon. Look into the leg, press the hip down, and work it in. And then we're going to come into that side plank. So you have an option here to come into side plank through your hands, aiming for a straight body, neck and line with the spine, bring it back into plank. <sighs> Left leg up. Bring it through. Come into a seated position. We're going to go for a mariachi twist. Right leg in. You can stay here or you can take it to the next stage over the leg. Opposite hand is going to pull that knee towards you. And you're going to take your hand to the back to support to help you lift. You can go further. You know where you can go. Each in-breath, you fill up your lungs. So create that space within. As you exhale, rotate yourself a little bit further. Not forcing. Adjusting. You're never completely still in posture. There was always activity through the body. Scan your body, how does it feel? Take your breath where you wish it to go. And as you exhale, slowly back round. As we go the other way. So the left foot in now. Take it over. You can leave it there if you wish. 
across. You're looking to get your ribs around. A little bit of a squeeze. Um, internal massage to those organs. And a lovely twist to the spine. Three to five breaths if you can. Exhaling it around. Well done. Just going to come into boat pose. Thank you. 